shop, I sort my minifigures right here and put them on the table. Minifigures aren't for sale, but some will be on my rack for selling. The big things you're going to want to do if you're going to sort Lego is you're going to want to try and do it by piece, basically. So, for example, look at these tile pieces. I got now a ton of these little tile pieces, one by whatever's. And it's really easy if you want to grab a piece now. And if you look in here, oh look, I see some tiles in there. And you can just pull off those in there. And then I can find them later on when I have to do a mock. Or my customers can grab a goodie bag and put some of those in their back. Do things is when I have pieces that I'm selling, I put this in here. I got this brown slide that I'm selling. Price tags right there. And then I got this cool Star Wars minifigure I bought. 75. And this cool Boba Fett I bought from Brick Bricklink. Put bigger sets that I don't have room with on my shelves. For example, this one where I have sorting bricks. And then I can put a price tag there so that other people can see what it is for. And I have taken pieces off this in the past. So I'm going to have to try and find those pieces and replace them on if they want it. What I do is I make stop motions. But this table is going to be an entire different thing for like sorting Legos. As you can see, I got food and junk in here because I've been spending too much of my time in this place. About sorting your Legos is these bins right here and all these other junky things. Don't mind the clothes, but you can use those Lego bins right there and some of those other bins and boxes as little Lego sorters. Or you can put up these rack things and like screw in screws in there so that you can add different shelves with different bricks on them. The thing you want to do is first, I would generally buy parts from different shops. So for example, I bought some bricks from this shop and then later on I'll find only about like 32 of like these pieces since I don't have that much Lego actually. I only have two tubs and like this other junk, but some of it I actually have in different rooms. So I probably have around 40,000 bricks or so. I have tons of bricks under my bed that I'm probably gonna have to sort out. And another big thing that you're going to want to do when you sort Lego is try and sort by off-brand and also real Lego. Real Lego goes way more than some off-brand Lego. Strategy that I use in Lego currently is me and my brother sort by color first, then by myself I sort by piece. So this is the gray bin, that's the tan bin, that's the brown bin. And then after that, I grab the piece that I need for that bin. So for example, these base plates, then these, this is the base plate bin, those would go to there. And then if people actually need a specific base plate, like for example, someone's going to buy this, I can price it by how many studs are on there, or by like the length of it. So I can do this one for at least like two fifty. dollars thing that I do is I sort by trucks also, and different bricks that I have a ton of, or sometimes I put bags of bricks. Or for smaller pieces, I have these. Really, you're going to want to have to have a lot of space. So what you're going to want to do is add shelves somewhere where you're going to want to sort your Lego. And then have these to sort other bricks. I also recommend getting these hardware things so you can sort other bricks that need to be sorted. You also want to hang up minifigure bags for people that want to buy. Get these tack things so that you can place them on the wall so that if people see a specific minifigure that they want to buy, they can actually buy it. Thank you for watching my video. I know it was a short one. Make sure to stick around and watch another one of my videos. See you bricking!